Welcome back. You're watching News Center. Expect growth in medium and heavy commercial vehicles to recover only after the general elections. That's the word coming in from the MD and CEO of Daimler India Commercial Vehicles. In a conversation with me, Arya said the company will launch 14 new products in 2024 and also continue to invest heavily on the diesel powertrain given the continuing demand. Uh, well, uh, 2023 was a great year for the commercial vehicle industry in India. The, the truck market had a growth of 10% and the bus market had a growth of 70%. Uh, however, 2024 uh, has started a bit different. Uh, in the first two months of this year, the industry, the medium and heavy commercial vehicle industry actually went down by about 10 to 11%. And we believe this is how it is going to be in the first two quarters of this calendar year. Uh, post the elections, we expect that the market will come back very strong. Uh, so we are looking at a strong quarter three and quarter four. Uh, so a weaker first half, but a stronger second half. And I, if I put this together, uh, we expect that the medium and heavy commercial vehicle segment will be at best flat uh, during 2024. Hmm. So uh, you're saying that uh, you expect slow growth in medium and heavy commercial vehicles, at least in the first two quarters or the first half of 2024. Uh, let me also ask you about your product plans, portfolio plans for 2024. Uh, what is the segment that you'd like to focus on? How many products can we expect from uh, Daimler India commercial vehicles? And what are some, uh, some of the uh, sectors that encourage you most about the economy? Well, today we announced 14 new products to be launched in 2024. And all of them will be there before the end of next quarter. We are talking about a completely new range of uh, long-haul rigid trucks, where we have renewed the powertrain to increase the TCO benefit to the customer. We are talking about a whole new range of construction trucks going forward. These trucks will have higher GVW, higher power, uh, even lesser turnaround time and much better performance than the predecessor. And the third and uh, very important for us is we are launching the AMTs in India now. It's a 12-speed AMT from our global portfolio. It's a Mercedes-Benz uh, AMT which we have delivered to more than half a million customers around the world. And we are bringing that technology to India because we believe Indian market is getting ready for that. We will introduce this in the tractor trailer and also the construction mining space. Uh, and we believe this will completely change uh, the paradigms of the fleet level fuel efficiencies we have seen in the market so far. That's, uh, that's interesting. But in terms of uh, uh, investments, or what portion of your capex in India will go towards electric vehicles and development of hydrogen trucks? Uh, how would you put that? Well, it's hard to give you a number, Parishad, because it differs as we move on uh, during the next years. Uh, as of now, uh, quite a substantial portion of our investments go into diesel powertrain because that is the main powertrain in use. Uh, but going forward, uh, we will step by step uh, switch our investments to electric or hydrogen. So what will be the diesel strategy going forward? Uh, are you looking at completely phasing out uh, or getting out of diesel in the India market? No, we are not talking about that because we believe diesel still has uh, a long life till the time we switch to decarbonization. It's hard to give you a time period, uh, but we believe diesel still has quite a substantial uh, life left. And therefore, our investments also continue to be uh, in the diesel segment. What is it that you are hoping for and what kind of policy intervention or fiscal intervention from the government may encourage you to uh, accelerate your EV and hydrogen plants? Well, I think uh, the government has done quite a bit already in the last few years in terms of bringing PLIs or EV-related policies like FAME 1, 2, and now we are talking about FAME 3. I think these will go a long way in increasing the adoption of electric vehicles. Uh, you know, what I believe is uh, to have a sustainable adoption and switch, you need to incentivize till a certain threshold, right? Uh, normally, when a transition like that happens, about 5% of the population is early adopters. They will switch no matter what. They will do it on their own, right? Uh, and then comes the fence sitters who are normally or generally about 15 to 20%. 
right? They definitely need incentivization to switch or to make that decision. So all in all, I think we are talking about 25% or 20 to 25% of population switching to any alternate before you can say, now it, it will pick on its own pace and it's a sustainable adoption. I think uh, the government should incentivize different segments till the time this threshold uh, is reached. All right, that was uh, Satyakam Arya of uh, Daimler India Commercial Vehicles. Very bullish on India, very bullish on the construction and mining sectors. And uh, they hope to, uh, to bring out a roadmap for electric vehicles and hydrogen vehicles very soon. Let's uh, shift focus to the power sector.